hello everyone so this is a video um for some of my seeds that i'm gonna be planting i don't know that i'll be planting every single one but this is a part of my seed collection and a lot of you were interested in me doing a video on it so this is for everyone that have requested so this right here is a strawberry roots and it's about 40 of them in the bag um i got those at walmart i mean not walmart but sam's club for about 8.98 or 9.98 and this right here is garlic and there's like four five four bulbs and if anybody is interested in seeing how i plant these I'll try to do a um, video. Just let me know in the comments. This right here is onions. I got this at Home Depot. And it's like 100 onion bulbs in the bag. This is asparagus. And for the four that I just uh, did, they are perennial so that means they will come back every year so just when you plant them make sure they're in a spot that you're gonna grow every year and um be mindful that the strawberries if you plant them in the yard they will grow wild so anyway this is cilantro this is Ford Hook Zucchini Squash. And I'm sorry for the glare, but I'm by a window. This is Okra Clemson Spineless. This is Crimson Sweet Watermelon. This is Hale's Best Jumbo Cantaloupe. And uh, just a little piece of advice. If you're going to plant watermelon, cantaloupe, honeydew, what have you, uh, make sure that you have a good spot for it to grow because it will grow very long. And you will have a bunch of fruit on it okay so then here's more some of these are repeats so our library has a seed bank where they give out seeds so these are some seeds that my daughter had got zucchini i'm not sure that you can see that let me see if i can hold it at a different angle yeah that you can't see that okay i'll have to hold it up like that but that's zucchini and this is the same kind this is kale lack of lack like Senato, I think that's how you pronounce it. This is red swan beans. Hopefully you can see that and the glare is not real bad. This right here is Georgia collards, popular collard greens. This is bell pepper. This is two Copenhagen cabbages. There's two packets of those. Carrots. Radish, pink beauty. Nasturtium. These are really good. I like these. I don't even get a chance to use them anything because 
I just pick them right off the plant and eat them. And I have another Nestle mix. This is green arrow peas. Another kale. Another collard. And another bell pepper. And then this right here is red currant tomatoes. Garden green beans. Peppers, bell peppers. Brussels sprouts. Carrots, romaine lettuce, cucumbers, asparagus, okra, butternut squash, and peas. I have carrots and this is on seed tape and so basically what you would do I'm not sure if you can see the seeds in it yeah so you see the seeds in it and then you will just roll it out and cut whatever length you want but um very simple and I've seen people make their own with um toilet paper. You just lay the toilet paper down in the dirt, one layer, put the seed over top of it, and um, then put the dirt over it. I've seen people do that. This right here is a global gourmet mix. It is Asian greens, red lettuce, and green lettuce. And this is butter crunch lettuce. This is lettuce gourmet blend. And this is mescaline, classic mix. And these are on uh, seed tape. And then this right here is easy pod. So we'll take a look see what that looks like because I did not use this before but it says easy pod so they gave me three plant markers yeah they gave me three plant markers and then we'll see what the seed looks like I have not bought the pods before so this is new. So it looks just like a seed. Although lettuce seeds are not, hopefully y'all can see that. Although lettuce seeds are not big seeds, but they probably put some other stuff in it. So that's pretty pretty cool and then um, I'll also do a video about how I harvest my lettuce because I do mine a certain way I do mine in a way where it can continue to grow kind of like how people do with their greens you cut the outer ones because the middle continues to grow so you just cut the outer ones so yeah, and then this right here, these lettuces, they will be grown in a container and I'll keep them on my porch. And uh, let me tell you a funny story about this romaine lettuce. So a few years back, I bought some um, plants, some romaine lettuce plants. And I had um, bought some bags of dirt and I cut like the top of the bag of dirt and then I put 
holes in the bottom for drainage and I planted my romaine lettuce plants in it. I don't know how, but that romaine lettuce spread it and grew wild all over my yard and then it turned red and I didn't know if it was any good or not so I took a picture of it growing all in my yard like literally it grew all in my yard and even though my husband was cutting the grass it still grew back so I took a picture of it growing wild in my yard and went to the Bonnie Plant web uh, Facebook page and posted a picture there and said, hey, you know, I planted these in bags of dirt, but for some reason it spread it through my whole yard. And so is this any good to eat? And they were like, yeah, and basically said, lucky you, you know, so so yeah but anyway a tip that i have is for those that don't have containers or whatever you can just cut the top off of a bag of dirt and just put your plants or seeds in it as long as it's not a plant with a deep root system now if it's a plant with a deep root system then you're going to want to use like a bigger pot to accommodate the size that the roots will get or just plant it in the ground. I um, had a tomato plant that grew like that tomato plant had to be about four feet high and three feet wide and someone had came over to my house and they told me they had never seen a tomato plant grow like that and I had to put that tomato plant in a bigger pot because it grew like crazy I've also done hydroponic gardening as well and I'm thinking about doing that maybe when the winter comes I'll have to probably post up some pictures of a hydroponic garden that I had before so hopefully you like this video and uh, please like this video please subscribe please tell your friends about it but yeah that's the gist of my garden and then I do have some plants in the ground already I planted some watermelon I planted well my husband planted the tomato plants the honeydew and cantaloupe he planted the cucumbers uh, he planted quite a few things I think it's about nine things he planted so we'll see how that goes. Thank you for watching.